I might as well do an introduction. Do I look at you adoringly or what do I do? Uh, yeah. Just whatever feels natural, okay. really, I think. Um, adoringly would be... <laughs> I mean, that might be <laughs> off-putting for me, but if that's what you want to do. The second of the behind-the-scenes making of In Amber here, um, we're in the garden of Graham Stewart, who helped me make it. So, uh, hello, Graham. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice <laughs> um, uh, so, it's funny asking you this because it's me asking, but yeah. how did we meet? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I was just thinking about this, uh, I think we first met when I was doing Body Song with Johnny Greenwood, which is the first film soundtrack that I did with him, yeah. and you came in to some percussion one day, um, and we were just trying to work out various kind of ways into the recording and how we go about things, and we thought we might try a few things out, and he said, I've got a friend Nigel I'm at school with, he's a good drummer and percussionist, so we got you in and you hit various things around the studio yeah and then asked me about my compression and i remember thinking who is this person <laughs> what's, wrong with, what's wrong with my compression <laughs> what's he mean why does he know more than me <laughs> and uh and, yeah, i didn't mean anything just... by it i was just interested <laughs> that, uh, what i actually my most vivid memory of that session in fact was um i had an enormous 18 inch floor tom yeah. and the first time i hit it um, there was clearly something up with the game because it went <laughs> and Johnny went wow that's amazing and he went no no we can't do that <laughs> did I? Yeah. you see nowadays I would have gone yeah it's good wasn't it I wish I recorded it <laughs> whereas at the time I was probably trying to desperately show to Johnny that I knew what I was doing and not quite understanding his kind of love of any accident that can possibly occur yeah, yeah. Mm. I was doing my second album and I was working at Marillion Studio out near Aylesbury. Exactly, out near Bristol, Aylesbury Way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, I'd actually been there for a couple of days and tried to set the drum sound up myself and with a live sound engineer, and it wasn't that great. Right. So in a, uh, I kind of said, who do I know who can do this? <laughs> um, and, in the uh, area. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I called you, did I not? You did indeed. Do you, yeah. do you yeah, remember I, I remember going happened? up there, yeah. I remember being further away than I thought. I remember going there and it being kind of spooky. That's my memory of the place. Were we the only people there maybe? And it was, was it late at night? There's something something weird about it. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I, 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 I could... Uh, everything. Nice setup. Yeah, I could only work late at night because right, I was okay. working during the day. Yeah. And then, um, so we came in and you just had that one night where you came in and set everything up. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, I do remember doing it. it. That was the time when it went, when the penny dropped about just how amazing you are and what you do. <laughs> Come on now. Because <laughs> um, it was one of those drum sounds which sounded, you just, I, I, I remember actually kind of thinking from an engineering point of view, I haven't recorded stuff for yeah. ages and thought, yeah, well, I'm, lost, I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah. and thinking yeah. I was pretty good at it. And then this drum sound, you, you turned it up and it sounded great. And like you said, there was there was various combinations of things and they all yeah. sounded incredible together. Right. It was like, it's all about the phase, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Really, if you've got your phase correct and you spend a lot of time on that, then there's not a lot else you need to do if you've got a bit of experience and you know roughly where to put things. And you know, you use, you use whatever's there. How did you come to be involved in in Amber? Um, you called me up again. Um, we kind of we sort of kept us up a little bit, didn't we? I remember I lived in Abingdon for a little bit, and you were there. And we used to go out for a couple of drums occasionally. Yeah. Day. And I can't remember. Did you call me up looking for? Did you call me up for me specifically, or did you call up for no. uh, the studio? I can't remember. That's, <laughs> that's so. That's so you. <laughs> You um, did, you called me up and said, I'm making this new album and um, I need somebody to come in for a week. And uh, we waited four days, did we, or five days, I can't remember. Well, initially, um, uh, initially I, we, I talked about kind of doing it as a, as a co-production with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was all about you. <laughs> the, uh, how, how was the experience of doing it? It was great. It was nice. It's really nice to do something that has to be done quickly as well for me. I'm so used to working with Johnny or Radio Red, where things just, you know, That doesn't down. go so quick. So, well, well, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't, no. Um, so, so I always really enjoy going in, especially with people that I know and I like, you know, and I know it's going to be good and it's going to be productive and there's a plan and somebody is kind of in control, you know, other than me. <laughs> but it was enjoyable, definitely, yeah. And, you know, good, good bunch of musicians and everybody was well prepped, weren't they? And, uh, yeah. But, uh, Fun, well, I kind of spend my life half and half now anyway with, since uh, my wife inherited this farm in which we're standing at the moment. I spend sort of half my life doing things here and half doing the music anyway, so yeah. you know, it's kind of a balance in my life nowadays, which is 
quite nice, nice and nice to do. Very much enjoyed it and I hope to do another one. I hope it goes well for you. Yeah, you know. Well thank you. Okay. Let's shake hands. <laughs> <laughs>